So today's video is gonna be a perfect demonstration of how to manage probably a root canal dentist's um, worst nightmare. Well, probably not worst nightmare. Worst nightmare would be a hypochlorite incident, but it's um, it's 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 got a really really bad rep, hasn't it? Um, a fractured file, and this this is a really really nice case because not a lot of work was required to remove this file. Um, and basically all I needed was some ultrasonics and some high magnification just to visualize this fractured file and remove it. So let's just have a look at the case here. So I'm using a HyFlex 1503 rotary file here and I'm actually using it in T mode. So with the uh, T mode, basically it reciprocates 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Um, first off and then when you feel the file is moving past the ledge because the T mode is for ledge mode um, you press a button and it rotates and then it tries to bring out the ledge and essentially this is it with this case it was a retreatment and I felt a ledge and this is why I was using T mode and unusually in this case I when I when I when I uh, when I pulled out the file in T mode, usually it doesn't fracture the file. I noticed that um, the uh, the end of the, the the file is is blunt. Okay, so straight away I'm thinking, right? I think this file's fractured. It doesn't look quite like um, a file, um, like like it did when I placed it back in the in the mouth. So what I'm going to do now is I suspect that the file is. Um, is, is short I'm just gonna measure it slightly and, and, and in fact it is it is short so I'm just gonna have a little look down the, uh, the center of the tooth just to see if I can visualize this uh, fractured file and again using a microscope is really really useful in this case and luckily I can see a little square glint of metal so straight away we fractured the file and I can visualize it that's the first great thing and I kind of want to use a 3d render here to sort of show you exactly where this this file is so um, it's a distal root and it's got two um, canals but the two canals have got quite a, a, a long fissure down the middle where they are quite closely associated with and um, if you see here it's kind of like a figure of eight uh, configuration and if we use another 3D render, this is kind of where the file is stuck. It's stuck between the two canals. So what I'm trying to think now is what, what am I going to do? So straight away what I'm going to think about is I'm just going to just activate the file with ultrasonics. And I've got this fantastic D600 unit here. And I'm going to use a very, very thin ultrasonic tip and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, put it on a very very low setting super low setting and I am just going to use the very very thin ultrasonic tip on the file to see if it's moving at all so I'm just gently gently activating the tooth and in this case I can see that the the file the factory file isn't moving at all so at this point I'm thinking to myself what do we do I think we're going to have to remove a little bit of dent and I'm going to use this tip here. This is a thicker diamond tip ultrasonic and I'm going to use this to remove some of the sort of denting shelf that's sort of holding this file in place. And I suppose in a way what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to open up the figure of eight pattern and, and obviously you could argue that the, the canal now is getting wider. But I think that that is um, a, a good compromise to remove this file. Of course, making uh, the canal wider can weaken the tooth. So what you've also got to be careful of is you don't activate the file and push it further down. And we're going to put uh, a little bit more um, uh, irrigant down there just to visualize where the file is and sometimes the irrigant is quite far down and you can't suck it out so I'm just using a paper point here just to uh, clear the last remaining irrigant and as we can see the file is still in the same place and now what I'm going to use is I'm going to use that very very small thin tipped ultrasonic again to try and activate the file 
and what I notice here is the the act of me removing some of the dentin that the file now is is moving ever so slightly and what I'm just doing is just using a little bit of activation just to just to uh, loosen the file and in this case um, we activate the file and it sort of jumps out of, out of place and we know now that the, the, the file is loose very very loose so it's super super careful here that you don't allow the file to drop further down the canal and um, that's happened super super annoying so um, activation usually pushes the uh, the file out of the, the canal and what I'm doing is I'm just getting the uh, activating tip at the base of the file to just try and push it out. I use this GP remover all the time and it's absolutely fantastic. I use it removing GP and in this case I just thought, you know what, the file is very, very loose and I can probably just hook this uh, file out with this GP remover. And as you can see I'm just slowly, slowly moving this file. What I haven't done, and, and I will tell you now what you really, really must do, is you must block the other uh, canal spaces. And I will tell you why, because you'll pull this little file out and um, it will just drop into the other canals. And then that's a really, really difficult conversation to have with a patient if you don't get the file out. So um, I've, I've, been a bit, uh, I've been a bit hard and fast with the rules there, but in the end, the file was removed and it's a super super um super super result patient was made aware um she was happy that i'd removed it and um really really nice result best best feeling in the world for an endodontist to remove a file and um yeah listen if you really really like this uh, this video i really really like making them um please like subscribe and most of all please comment in the uh, comment section below. Any questions, any criticisms. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.